a few dozen miles from Florence, nestling among the low hills of Tuscany, lies the ancient city of Lucca. Here, 17th century fortified walls over three miles long surround the medieval town center, famous for the hundred churches, the narrow streets, the noble mansions. And renown, the world over, for the perfect state of preservation in which the town folk have kept their history and their architecture. Starting from the city walls, a mere five-minute drive brings us to the gates of Fabio Perini SPA. Born in 1966, the company has grown very fast. Today, Fabio Perini SPA is often described as the leading world manufacturer of tissue converting machines. Tana de Zulueta, one of the most important foreign correspondents in Italy, has met Fabio Perini, founder of the company. Fabio Perini, founder of Fabio Perini SBA, has a sound background in the world of paper. He comes from the area northwest of Lucca, which is known as the Paper Valley. His parents were both paper manufacturers. At the age of 18, he had already started his own company, manufacturing accessories for the paper industry. Mr. Perini, can you tell me about the origins of your company? Well, we started in 1966 with a small company here in Lucca. We were only two or three at the beginning. And we built our first machines, which were somewhat superior to the ordinary machines offered by our competitors. It didn't take us very long to reach a leading position on the Italian market. And the company started growing fast, very fast. So we decided to start competing with the bigger companies, such as we could find in Germany or in the United States. We were very young and we enjoyed our work. I think it was thanks to our enthusiasm that we managed to make different machines from our competitors. Let us join Mrs. Desilueta in a short tour of Fabio Perini SPA. First of all, the factory. Because the main asset of the Fabio Perini company is and remains the machinery. In the difficult world of tissues, a Fabio Perini converting machine is always one step ahead. The flexibility of the smaller machines is second to none in the world today. On the other hand, the larger machines for converters are the top in performance. Speed and width combined give breathtaking results. Fabio Perini is a specialized company with specialized customers and it has the right answers both for the large and for the small converter. Nearly all Perini machines are custom designed for specific requirements and when they say custom designed, they mean it. The engineers at Fabio Perini actually encourage customers to find specific solutions to their particular problems. Thanks to a high degree of automation, the factory makes the designer's dreams come true. And computer-controlled robots take care of the precision machinery, like changing the size of a drill. The touch of a human hand is always necessary, not only to guide the robots, but also to give each machine its particular character and shape. Here at Fabio Perini, there is a highly skilled team of qualified workmen. Each of them comes to the company without a previous professional experience. Every worker at Fabio Perini is trained and raised inside the company. But even before that, Fabio Perini organizes training sessions in the local high schools. The students learn all about paper converting machines and visit the factory. So, 
When they choose to start work, they already know what they're talking about. You often talk about the particular atmosphere of your company, which seems to be the basis of your growth and of your technological breakthroughs. Can you explain this? No, uh, not my company, our company. The company we have created and developed together with the first people who started working with me. You see, we all consider ourselves employees of this company. I never believed the company to be under my command. On the contrary, I am at the service of this company, and so is all the staff. I've been lucky in the choice of my managers, and I've always had the most complete trust in them. It's a bit as if this company belonged to all of us. Not all the machines made by Fabio Perini are custom designed. Here we can see the assembly of a standard, small, mass-produced automatic rewinder. Attention to detail is typical of Fabio Perini production. Nothing is overlooked in the effort to make tough, reliable machines. In charge of it all is Giuseppe Mazzotti, the 38-year-old production manager of Fabio Perini SPA. No machine ever leaves the factory without a complete test run. And Mr. Mazzotti always finds a little time to spare to take a personal look at the test. Machine production at Fabio Perini is part of an integrated process. The whole process is kept constantly under control by sophisticated data processing equipment, which keeps track of every single component of the Perini machines. But the real importance of the computer is in the design and engineering of the machines. The latest CAD CAM techniques are amply used at Fabio Perini SPA, both in production and in research. At the age of 18, you patented your first exclusive automatic machine. At 26, thanks to another idea, you created what is now Fabio Perini SPA. Can you explain this innovative spirit of yours? It isn't as simple as that. Of course, I did help in creating, I did help a lot in creating the company, and I did design a lot of the machines. But I was lucky enough to be able to design at my own risk. Normally, an engineer is working on a project and is paid by other people's money. But I worked without inhibitions, following my imagination and instinct without any interference. Mr. Perini has kept his word. Research and development at Fabio Perini SPA are completely independent of the rest of the company. Engineers and researchers can work in total freedom. Theirs are the ideas and the prototypes. Production is not their problem. Thus, at Fabio Perini SPA, the machines are always updated with the latest achievements in technology, materials and obviously electronics. Because at Fabio Perini SPA they are convinced that only pure, independent research can produce the breakthroughs that are typical of high technology productions such as those necessary in tissue converting machines. Of course, even independent research must keep contact with market demands. Carlo Silvestri, 39 years old, sales manager of Fabio Perini SPA, is always in touch with both the customers and the researchers. He knows what customers want. And only when he has the right products for them does he set out on his many trips around the world. because 90% of the Fabio Perini production is exported. To support the sales, the company has developed a multinational organization in recent years. An expensive choice maybe, 
but a company that really wants to go for customer service cannot operate without on-the-spot premises. The first of the Perini Forum branches dates back to 1975. Perini France opens its offices in Paris, right next to the famous Arc de Triomphe. And France is the first foreign market that Fabio Perini tackles in depth. The results are encouraging. Customers claim to be satisfied, and sales really begin to boost. And so the experience is repeated, this time in Germany. In the center of bustling Dusseldorf, we find the offices of Fabio Perini GmbH. A subsidiary capable not only of coping with the difficult German market, but also of bridging the gap with Eastern Europe. After Germany, the company decides to cross the Atlantic, and Fabio Perini lands in South America. There, particular market conditions convince the company that the offices and warehouses in Sao Paulo, Brazil, need expanding. And Fabio Perini opens its first foreign production plant in Joinville, South Brazil. From South to North America, the distance is short. And from Green Bay, in industrial Wisconsin, Perini America, Incorporated, attacks the most difficult market in the world, the United States. Yet it is right here, where Fabio Perini has its toughest competitors, that the Italian company achieves its most brilliant success. Always selling above target, and always in full growth. Once again, the local sales force, assisted by warehouses packed full of stock and spare parts, guarantees the field service which has become a worldwide characteristic of the Perini organization. But the biggest surprise has yet to come, and it comes from the opposite side of the world, Japan. The Japanese are not easy business, but Perini Japan Company Limited needs very little time to win Japanese confidence and support. Today, it is one of the few totally Italian companies to operate in Japan. Moreover, it is certainly the only one to have attracted the interest of the severe Japanese banks, who have actually suggested and accomplished a full-scale, long-term financial venture with Perini Japan. A delicate operation, but Alfredo Puccinelli, 38 years old, finance manager of Fabio Perini, knows his business very well. He has dealt with banks all over the world, and he's kept strict control on the company's cash flow throughout its international expansion. A little later, back to Europe again. Perini UK Limited opens its very British offices in Richmond, Greater London. Many companies would have stopped at this, but not Fabio Perini, which has added another pearl to its collection, Perini Hong Kong Limited. Another adventure in the Far East with a special eye for China, obviously. A worldwide organization such as Fabio Perini, SPA, needs careful planning and direction. The man behind it all is Ettore Bartoloni Santomer, 43, chairman of Fabio Perini, SPA. He coordinates the teamwork of the Perini managers and plans the future of the company, such as the new plant due for construction in the near future.
As for Mr. Fabio Perini, his future goes beyond tissue converting. Because Fabio Perini is a name famous not only in the world of machinery, but also at sea, in the world of boating. After years of experience in tissues, a new adventure in a completely different field, boatyards. How did this apparent change of direction come about? I wouldn't call this uh, an adventure. We decided to diversify. And the world of boating, apparently so different from the world of tissues, has, in my opinion, a lot in common with it. They both need new technological breakthroughs and new attitudes. The process we went through in our traditional field of activity can be repeated in shipping. I particularly believe in this because it isn't only an alternative activity. For me, it's also a necessary step to let the engineering company grow a little more by itself. I still follow that company, of course, but my main attentions are dedicated to this new area. You can compare Fabio Perini SPA, the machinery company, to a full-grown, successful racehorse. It enters the big races and wins. Well, the boatyard is a young colt of excellent breed who has to be trained and raised. But why then did you choose sailing boats, which are a smaller share of the market compared to motorboats? Well, first of all, I must confess that I love sailing. But <laughs> there's more to it than that. A sailing boat is a boat. A motorboat is like a car. I wanted to build boats, not cars. Boats have been propelled by sails for centuries. With today's technologies, sailing vessels can become competitive again, and they can be sailed as easily as motorboats. The boats we are building now are extraordinarily simple. Instead of turning on the engine, you just turn on the sails. But you have more safety, more economy, and less pollution. Yes, I definitely believe much more in the future of sailing boats. The Perini boatyards are not very far from the paper machine factory. Here, Perini builds his luxury leisure yachts. Armed with his brilliant experience in machine production, Mr. Fabio Perini has made yet another small revolution. Once again, he has used both his skill in research and his industrial flair to build an extraordinary type of boat. The sailing yachts created by the Perini boatyards are the utmost expression of marine technology. An example? The 40-meter sailing vessel that can be handled by a crew of two. Servo-assisted sheeting and reefing devices paired with an extensive use of electronics make sailing easy in any conditions. But it is especially in design and production techniques that Perini boats are different from the rest. No boatyard has ever really tackled this particularly traditional craft with modern industrial criteria. Well, Fabio Perini has. And so he manufactures the first large sailing cruisers with modular interiors. And another typical feature of the Perini philosophy, computer-aided design in every step, from the original project to the actual building of the mold. One step ahead in paper machinery, one step ahead in boat building. Fabio Perini's outlook remains the same, whichever industry he decides to tackle, which means essentially that with Fabio Perini SPA, you're always one step further into the future. <laughs>